Hello and welcome back to For Real. My name is Jeremy, along with Claire, my wife. We live and work in Siem Reap, Cambodia. Today we're going out to the floating villages again to see the Rising Water Festival. Rising Water Festival is, as in the title, uh, for the rising of the water in the huge lake. It's usually held near the end of June, but due to the coronavirus, uh, these the uh, festival itself is very low key. Uh, unfortunately, they couldn't publicize it that much. Uh, the main contributors to the uh, organization is uh, bamboo shoots and also tree line. The bus in front is actually from tree line. Um, the road out has changed significantly since last time we went out there. There's a lot of roadworks going on in Siem Reap. I don't understand why. Uh, maybe it's the end of year or financial year thing, but I've never, well, I've only been here once, but the amount of roadworks is incredible. Uh, they started this road, bit of roadworks probably um, two weeks ago, just dug this big hole, and it seems like they've moved on somewhere else, up the road to the right there. Um, and there's also a lot of places in the main city uh, that a lot of roadworks have taken place. So the Rising Water Festival is the rising of the water. So before the water rises, uh, the, both these organisations will go out and will do a large uh, rubbish pickup uh, collection. Uh, it's quite organised. A lot of rubbish is left on the shorelines when the water recedes, so it's a great time to pick up all this rubbish before the water comes back in and washes back into the lake. Uh, the bus is just in front of us there. It does take off in a minute. It, it was uh, on a mission. So it has rained a lot. So it is very green all the way out. So it has changed quite a bit from approximately two weeks ago. Oh, and here is the road that I was on about two weeks ago, which was all bitumen. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So they just started ripping up the road. To the right there are those little huts. I'm going to do a two-part on this little vlog. Um, on the way back, I'll actually stop in there and go for a walk around. The Lotus uh, Farm, they call it. So a lot of roadworks happening along here. Uh, in Cambodia, or most of Southeast Asia, uh, when they do roadworks, it's like this. They will just rip it up, um, put all the big machinery on and away they'll go no one you know letting cars through uh, this truck here is very interesting it's got all little um, cabinets and wardrobes on it I don't know it was because on the way back the same two trucks um, I pass um, had all the same thing I don't know if they actually drive along waiting people to come out and try and buy a random wardrobe but there you go uh, to the right there, there's been a lot of rain, so all the rice fields are nice and full. Um, the crops are growing nicely over there. The road is does get a little bit worse even further on. Yep, here, oh, there it goes. Very, very rough. So you don't know which side to really go. The car in front's gone to the other side. I'll go back to the other side because it can't go any further. But it is greater, greater back. Because this was all seemed to me be fine just needed maybe a couple of repairs but they've decided to take it back to the clay so unfortunately the clay when it does get wet it does get very boggy so I don't understand also why you would start doing major road works um, at the start near the start of the uh, wet season because this has become a nightmare in a week or so if they don't finish it and they won't finish it in a week So up on that hill is supposed to be a beautiful um, sunrise uh, or sunset, I think sunset, or sunset and sunrise. So um, next week we're actually going to go up that hill and have a look. Uh, last week I went to the right down past, yep, down that way I went, to, down past that white um, little gatehouse. You'd think they'd fix this bit of the road up, they didn't. Uh, up ahead I think this uh, is going to be maybe a toll toll booth of some sort for buses or something they're planning to have out here 
Um, to the right, there's all of the, the abandoned, whatever that was. Um, on the way back, I will go through there as well. It's quite interesting to watch on the way back. So it is very nice and green at the moment. Very, very green. It rained pretty constantly for two weeks, uh, every afternoon for about two weeks. So there's a lot of water. So it's uh, slowly coming back up. Very, very green, very nice. Um, last time in front, uh, I didn't realize in front of me there, down, down over that ridge, is actually, um, they've been digging huge, just huge holes, uh, putting in pylons. So I don't know if they're gonna try and make that some kind of port. This could be like a port area for um, tourism. I, I don't know what the other thing was, but this might be an idea. Um, these have come along quite well, these little structures. I don't know if there's going to be houses or going to be more shops. There's a, there's a lot of construction for construction's sake. But it's the first time I've actually seen a lot of um, metal, um, that kind of prefab metal um, roofing happening. It's usually uh, concrete, lots and lots of concrete. So yeah, down towards the right, there's just uh, there's two huge, huge, huge holes. Um, I've also, uh, when we went, went through this village, um, I realized, oh, well, I, I saw that there was a lot more people. So what I think happens is that they bring their floating houses into the, that little dock area down towards the left. Um, they leave their houses there and go back to their villages because the amount of people I saw, um, going through this little area today uh, was a lot more than um, than last last or two weeks ago. Uh, also a lot more children around. Um, it just seemed like there was like a lot more happening. Um, it, it, the smell was uh, very, 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 very strong of fish. Um, so the houses on the left there, on the way back I get a bit closer. Um, but they are actually starting to float, which is very interesting. I, I expected they would float, but they are. Some of them are floating, and they are moving down towards the um, little bridge to go out back into the water. Uh, there's a lot of kids playing. The road's got a lot worse as well. I think a lot more use. So down to the right there, there's a couple of houses being fixed up, ready to go back out into the water. But the um, general vibe and the amount of people around has really, really picked up. There's also now two lots of pool tables out here, and there was just one lot. So down the down to the um, left there is uh, all the floating houses. They are actually now floating, which is very interesting. Yep, down there, all floating. Not enough water to go out into the um, main lake yet, but. So maybe a few weeks off, hopefully. Little barrels. I don't know if they're actually full of fuel or for the barrels for the houses. There's some pool tables on the left there. The second lot. There's um, some volleyball courts. Volleyball is quite big here in um, Cambodia. Uh, there, just to the left there, those cages is where the um, they came out the two weeks ago, which I missed. Unfortunately, um, this is a good, they collect rubbish, put rubbish there. Um, a truck comes up, gets the rubbish, and takes it back into town. So it's like a, a like a depot uh, for them to pick up the rubbish and take it back. Um, this is <laughs> was quite frightening. Um, a huge herd of water buffalo. I don't like water buffalo. I read a stat that um, water buffalo kill more people than lions or tigers or something like that it was something that was just freaked me out so i really do not like water buffalo i hate them petrified of them because they've got some serious horns on them and there was a lot of them there at least 30 at least 30 um water buffalo there so follow this bike a bit further so when the water comes up this will be all underwater Yep, and here we are. This is the CMP, CMP, 
Siem Reap. Siem Reap Pier. Uh, it's also a uh, little monastery, a little um, pagoda up there. All these people waiting to do their thing. All the people there waiting to go. Ending out. That bloke there, that's the uh, head honcho, that's the main man. I didn't really get to talk to him because he was super busy um, putting it all together and um, doing a live stream the whole way through. Down there, you see that camera? I didn't see that camera, but it saw us. So at the end of the um, vlog, uh, you'll see us on Cambodian TV, which was uh, very weird for us, as we had no idea, but he, that bloke there is actually from the news. There's all the bags, they put rubbish in collecting, there's all the tongs, um, they're doing a little speech, a little clap, and they start dispersing, where they go. It's really good that um, truck goes around, so you fill your bag up and dump it in the truck, which was very good. That's it out there. See, it has got a lot greener since last time I was out here. All helping. Um, ooh, uh, I, we didn't actually go out and pick up any rubbish, which is kind of rude of us. Uh, but it was, it doesn't look hot, but it was about 8.30 at this stage and the sun is a killer. Um, it just melts you. So you go along and they throw rubbish in the little blue truck. Uh, we'll go around and there he is there. He um, live streamed the whole event. If you can see right out there, the white, that's where the boats are. So the women come in. And now we're returning home. We stayed there for about an hour and a half. It was just, just too hot for us to walk around. We did a bit of um, filming and went through this. Oh, the um, Lots and lots of uh, buffalo. They did not like that at all. Did not like buffaloes. No, it freaked out a little bit. Had a little bit of a crazy tantrum. Um, further up there's a little baby buffalo which I was worried that would come over to me and then I'd get bored to death <laughs> but um, as you can see here um, we were on the, uh, the Cambodian uh, TV network I don't know what it actually said about us um, we didn't do much at all which was um, sorry unfortunate but it was very hot Uh, so if you'd like to subscribe, um, I will do a part two next week, which um, shows way more of the village, um, also uh, of the little Lotus Farm cottages. So like and subscribe, look down below for all the links, um, press that bell button also, um, and have a good one.